Hey everybody, Tom Adelman and Bo Thomas here at the Credit Law Center and we're going to do today's tip of the day on something we hear all the time and we, we get this question consistently is how much impact does an inquiry have on my actual credit score? And Bo, go ahead and kind of explain that a little bit if you would. Yeah, man, it's one of the most common questions or the most talked about thing that has the least importance really is what it really kind of shakes down to. A lot of times people, you, you hear these things that, uh, oh, it's five points for everyone I get and I get 10 when I go out and car shop or I had four when I get out and get a mortgage. Keep in mind that there's a window of time between mortgage inquiries that you won't get counted against you. So if you go out and you're shopping for a mortgage, you have that 30 day window, multiple inquiries in there, only really counts as one. But even then, counting as one, there's no numerical value given to each inquiry. It's not like five points for each one or 10. So the more inquiries you have, the more harming it is to your credit score. Um, it's based on predicting risk, right? So if you right. have high balances and recent lates and you go out and get some inquiries, your score's coming down. It looks like you're shopping everywhere. Yep. You know, you're desperate. You're, you're risky. You're, you're, you're going to try and go out and get more, more credit. If you have a thin credit profile, you're going to see some, you know, um, decrease in your credit score. If you've got good on-time payments, established credit, inquiries, it doesn't really matter. You can go out and pepper yourself with them and, and you won't see much of a move at all. So it's different for each person. Like you always say, that's one of the most talked about, but little, uh, least significant impact on your credit score. Um, there's your CLC tip of the day.